Look, we all go through hard times in this entrepreneurship journey, y'all. Y'all gotta understand that. Stop being scared of a little bit of pain, all right? That's what's supposed to happen. If it was easy, everybody would do it. We all know that, right? Listen to me. You sitting here worried about risking losing what you have right now. So you scared to take a risk. You scared to make that jump because you don't want to lose what you got. But I think it's more scary the fact that you could actually be stuck with what you have for the rest of your life if you don't take a jump. If you don't go out there and do what you're supposed to do. If you don't go live your dream. You got to be kidding me. I remember I like I like, I always like the, uh, the series Roots because I learned so much from that. And I remember one time uh, Kunta Kinte was trying to escape. And the guy that they had basically uh, watching over him or whatever, when he seen Kuta Kente trying to break those chains off of him, he told me, he, he basically, t I said told me, I'm so into the movie. But he told Kuta Kente that, he said, why would you do that? You're going to risk everything I, I got. And it's crazy because it's like, what do he have? He's on a slave plantation and he's a slave. He's, he's owned, he's property. But he's so busy worried about losing the little bit that he got. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So, me personally, I would rather risk losing my life to gain my freedom than continue to be the slave for the rest of my life. And that's how I'm, I live my life and that's how you should live your life. You worry about getting evicted? Evicted? You worried about losing a car? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, fuck that house. Fuck that little apartment that you got. Fuck that little car you got. You know what I mean? Like, is it really worth not having the step that you dream of having? The better car that you want. The better house that you want. You know what I mean? Owning wealth. Having assets that pay you. And you never have to work again a day in your life. Is it really worth not having those things just to keep that little bit of shit that you got now? You know what I mean? Not to downplay it and not to... Not to make it seem like uh, you shouldn't appreciate what you have. But my point is, you should be elevating. You should be growing. You should be trying to better yourself. Not just with material things either, but mentally, spiritually, physically, all of that. But you can't do any of that until you step outside that comfort zone and do something different. And stop being scared. Stop being scared to lose what you have now. You got to lose. Sometimes you got to give up what you like for what you love. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to give up what you have right now to get what you want. Okay? It's going to be hard times. I know so many entrepreneurs right now going through it. Going through it. Losing everything. And people think entrepreneurship is so sweet. Oh, yeah. I ain't got no job. I'm my own boss. First of all, let me tell you something about this entrepreneurship shit. It's a lie. It's a lie. I'm telling you right now, it's a lie. You think... Oh, well, I'm going to be my own boss. I'm going to get out here and be an entrepreneurship and I ain't going to have no boss. That's a lot. First of all, you have customers who could fire you at any given moment if, you, if it's a service business. You got a boss. Second of all, you're still an employee. Even when you start a business and you're, and you're an entrepreneur, you start your business, right? You start a company, guess what? You're an employee. It's just to your business now. But you're still an employee. You still have to get... A payroll check you're required by law if it's an LLC passed or, or S court whatever the case may be if it's an LLC you're required to pay yourself out of that company so guess what you're still an employee you can't get away you see what I'm saying but what makes it good is the fact that you're building wealth for all that work that you're doing rather than just getting a paycheck every week for all that work that you're doing so if you were smart you pay yourself a certain amount just enough to pay your bills and then you'll save all your money in your business account so that way, you can grow that wealth in your business and not be taxed on it at the individual level. You see what I'm saying? But I won't go too deep on that. My point is this. Stop being scared. Stop being scared, man. Do what you got to do and go get it. And stop worrying about going through struggles. Don't let that shit get you down. Look at, I'm going to tell you something about Donald Trump. We all got negative stuff to say about Donald Trump, right? But I'm going to tell you one thing about Donald Trump that I learned is anything is possible if Donald Trump can do what he done. The man done filed bankruptcy so many times, and yet he's still a billionaire. Billionaire. I ain't talking about a million. I ain't even talking about six figures. Some people can't even get a hundred thousand. And you talking about he made it to a billion after filing bankruptcy and some people can't even get to a hundred thousand with good credit? 
You see what I'm saying? Think about what's going on for me. The man became president and he filed bankruptcy several times. He an asshole for the most from, from some people's op opinion. You see what I'm saying? So if, if that can happen, then you too can go through what the hell you going through and be successful. That stuff you going through is small. That's nothing compared to what the hell you going to have to go through in order to get to what you're trying to get to. If you got extremely big dreams like I do, guess what? This little shit you're going through now is nothing compared to what you're going to have to go through. It's nothing. That's why I always tell myself, no matter what I go through, I always still stay strong, still stay focused, still keep grinding. Because at the end of the day, it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. It's going to get better, but the problem's going to get bigger. You see what I'm saying? It don't stop. It don't stop. I got a couple little haters here and there on YouTube. I got a, you know what I mean? a couple haters here locally. Blah. But guess what? That ain't shit. It's going to be way, 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 way more. You see what I'm saying? Like, the hate is going to be so real. The love will be there too. But I want you to understand that the struggle won't stop. It's not going to stop. The controversy won't stop. Everything that you're going through, you have to go through. It's a part of it. Embrace it. I ain't say you ain't got to like it. But just understand that it has to happen. It's a part of the journey. It's a part of it. Stop running from it. Stop being afraid of it. If you want that life that you say you want bad enough, then understand that you got to go through certain things in order to get that point blank period. I feel like people need to hear this. I don't know what sent me to say this this morning, but I felt like it's somebody that need to hear this because you don't understand that it's a struggle. You don't think I struggle? No, I mean, I, I sit there and say it in every video. I don't, I don't sit there and spell out every little problem that I'm going through because it's hard enough trying to get through the shit without people all in your business, you know what I mean? So I try to be particular with my words, but I, I still try to make sure I'm very transparent and let you know that I'm going through stuff. When I did my interview with uh, Isaiah, Mr. Starts With A Vision, I sat there and told everybody right then that I'm still in the hood. I ain't left yet. You know what I mean? So for me to be in the hood, you know what I mean, and... and and be who I am and people knowing about my brand and seeing my my success and business and all of that. You know what I mean? Like, that's risky. You see what I'm saying? So I go through shit like that where people, I'm a target. You know what I mean? So it's all type of stuff that you're going to have to go through. You know what I mean? I'm going through it. We all go through it. Right now, I'm in a smooth space. Tomorrow, I might not be. It's always up and down as a roller coaster. You've seen the damn Instagram meme. People think that success is this one straight line, but really in reality it's squiggly there, zigzag over there, go backwards, go forward, go backwards, go down, go up, go right, left, right, 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 left, 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 circle around, maybe success, nope, go back again. You know what I mean? Like, it's so much. It's so fucking much. And if you ain't prepared for that, stop. Go get a job. If you need that stability, if you can't take it, if you're not mentally strong, stop. Go get a job. Ain't nothing wrong with a job. Go live your regular life. You know what I mean? I'm talking about entrepreneurs, the people who are trying to change the world. The people who want to leave their imprint on the world. You got to understand, you want to do something that big? What you think going You think, you can't, it's not going to be, I don't care who you look at. It was not easy for nobody, period. Anybody that's doing that big, they went through some shit, point blank, period. You're going to have to do some things. Know what I mean, you're going to see some things that people ain't never saw and you're going to have to deal with it. And guess what? Most of the stuff you ain't even going to be able to talk about. Some of the stuff you're going to have to go through completely by yourself and ain't nobody going to be there to share with you. And you can't open your mouth about it either. You just got to keep going and be that much stronger than everybody else because that's what it takes to be that great. You have to understand that. You want to be outstanding, then you have to stand out. You can't be with everybody else. You can't watch what they watch. You can't listen to what they listen to. You can't spend your time doing what they spend their time doing. Separate yourself. And most importantly, what I'm trying to drive home in this video is understand that shit gonna get rough. You hear this so much, right? You hear it. You hear people about people being homeless before they became uh, celebrities and stuff. You hear about people being dead, broke, and filed in bankruptcy and all of that. Robert Kiyosaki told you he was on the brink of bankrupt bankruptcy, but he paid off all his debt and game came back. Dave Ramsey filed, I think he filed bankruptcy. And then he came all the way back and look at him now, teach people how to get out of debt. Uh, we, we just talked about Donald Trump. We talk about Steve Harvey being homeless. We talk about Tyler Perry being homeless. Like all of these people, you think that shit just sound like a success story. That's life for somebody. 
that's life for somebody. And when you get on your journey and when you really into it, that might be life for you. And you need to be prepared for to understand that all right, this is part of my journey and keep going. I'm never gonna quit. I'm never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop. In my mind, all right, in two years from now, I'm gonna be good. If two years from now pass and I'm not good, guess what? I'm gonna say the same damn thing that day. And then after two more years pass, I'm gonna say the same. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna be 80. I could be 80 and still broke, still trying. I don't care. You have to keep going. You have to keep going, keep building wealth. And wealth is such a bitch because sometimes you buy an asset or you have assets that don't necessarily um, pay you such great uh, dividends immediately. So you have to sit there and you have to wait over time and keep building and building. You have to think long term. And if you can't do that, then you won't make it. Prepare yourself. Understand the journey that you're choosing. Understand what you're doing. Be appreciative. Find a lesson in everything that you go through, good or bad. Find a lesson. You remember when we were younger, right? I was thinking about this the other day. You remember when we were in school and you had story time in school, right? Elementary school. And then after the story was done, your teacher would ask that same worst question after every video, which is, so what did you learn from the story? What was the moral of the story? You need to ask yourself that after everything that you do. It's some type of message in everything. Whether it's your good experiences, whether your bad experience, whether you watching TV. Because when you watching TV, it's a message being pushed and pushed in whatever you're watching. I don't care what it is. Even if it's a sports game. You need to ask yourself after everything you watch. Alright, now what was the message in that? What did I learn from that? If it's music you listening to on the radio, I don't care what they rapping about. What did you just learn from that message? Now after you ask yourself what you just learned from any of these things, then you need to identify and say, okay. Is this video that I'm watching feeding me a message that aligns with what I'm trying to do in life? And if it don't, don't listen to that shit no more. Don't watch that shit no more. If that experience is teaching you a lesson or telling you a message that doesn't align with what you're trying to do, don't do that no more. Learn from it. You made a mistake. Learn from that and don't do that no more. If that experience did something good for you and it told you, you know what? Every time you do that, you get good shit. Bet. Do that. Do that. See what I'm saying? Learn from everything. Find out the moral of every story. Your life is your story. You're the, you're the leading actor. You're the director. You're the writer. You're everything. And it's up to you to create the life that you want to live. And if you don't, then guess what? You're going to be miserable. That's why it matters. Because I, sometimes I ask myself, well, damn, what well, well, do it matter? Because we all get to, we got to die anyway. So do it really matter? Yes, it matters. Because guess what? You might be on this earth for another hundred years and you don't even know it. You want to be miserable for the next hundred years? Living somebody else's dream? Going to work every day putting somebody else's shit together? No. You build your dream and live the life that you want to live. Point blank period. You do it the way you want to do it. And I guarantee you if you ever have kids or you have kids now, they'll thank you for it and then they can model the same thing that you did and have the same excellent life that you had because they chose to do it the way that they wanted to do it. You weren't, ble you weren't given the ability to have these dreams if you won't pose to have them. Why would you have that ability if you won't pose to enjoy the things that you dream of? Understand why you're here. Appreciate that it's going to be struggle. And keep going anyway. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Thank you for all the emails that y'all give me, man. Y'all keep me going. Thank you for all the Snapchat messages. The Instagram messages, the Facebook messages. If you in any of those inboxes, I got you. I see you. If it took too long, if it's been like a month or something, email me again, send your message again, and I try to get to you ASAP, okay? Um, any entrepreneurs out there, by the way, that want to get featured on my Lunch with the Entrepreneur series, let me know. Hit me up. If you if you are an active entrepreneur, if you're doing your thing, you know what I mean, you've been in business for a while and you got some experiences that you want to share, let me know. I'll put you up there. You know what I mean? Just holler at me, alright? Um, and speaking on that, today's interview will be up 12 o'clock. Y'all already know what time it is. I got my boy Brandon Goodman up there. He gonna be, he's a real estate uh, entrepreneur. And we're going to be talking. So come back at 12 o'clock and rock with me, alright? Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. I can't thank y'all enough. Check out AJSimmonsOnline.com. Follow me at AJSimmonsOnline. And check me out on Snapchat at AJRichAlready16. Thank y'all.